Okay, we're back for another video. We're going to take a look at the Miami Dolphins against the Detroit Lions. It's a very interesting football game, but before we go there, let me tell you a little bit about what's going on over here at jimwins.info. Last week we had a monster NFL week, 7-2. and two. We had a big plays. We had the uh, Monday night total of the year with the Giants and Colts going over. We had some huge plays. We're 4-0 with our uh, high rollers selections as well. We're doing really well in college and football, in pro football on those high rollers. We've got a big game up on Saturday and another big game on Sunday. Plus, we'll have smaller plays each day. And we've got the NBA going on. And I think we started out, I'm not 100% sure of the stats, but I think we're 7-2 and two or 7-3. and three. Then we slipped a little bit, 9-5 nine and, nine and five or something like that. But we're well over 70% uh, at this point uh, with our NBA plays. You want to go to jimwins.info, check it all out. We've got the Hilton information there. We've got all the top handicappers, the leaders in the contest. And uh, there's a lot of money at stake there. There's over 1,400 people in there. I'll put up $1,500. And um, we're looking forward to that the rest of the way. Uh, <clears throat> and we also have the Fast Facts that's there for football. And it starts be up ready for the NBA. And then next week, uh, the end of the week, the 14th, College basketball starts, and we'll be ready for that, too. There's a big card on the 14th of November, college basketball season. We're really excited about that. As you all know, from the years of me doing this, that's one of my favorite sports. So we're, uh, we're up and ready here. Let me talk to you about this Miami Lions game. I know the Lions are coming off the trip to um, London. Miami was there also this year. They... They played, I think, the Raiders there, beat them 38-14. Miami's been on a bit of a run. They've gone under the last three games. They've covered the last three games against Chicago, Jacksonville, and last week against San Diego. Everybody in the world, about 80% of the betting public was on San Diego in that game. And uh, Miami came out and crushed them. And that was one of my late plays last week, late information plays on the Miami Dolphins, a 37 to nothing winner, beat the spread by 35 points. And uh, we have plays that come in like that from sources that I have. We call them late information games. They do come up every now and then, and boy, do they hit a high percentage. So anyways, going back to this game, the Dolphins are a better team than people give them credit for. Uh, and, you know, when you look at the third in the league in defensive giving up points, 18.9 points per game. 12th in the league against rushing, 2nd in the league against passing. They run the ball, they're 4th in the league in running, 137 yards per game, 4.8 yards per carry, giving up 4 points per carry, 4 yards per carry. That's a big difference. Uh, they're positive in yards per play, positive in yards per pass, part, positive in yards per rush, uh, Yards per point, they're also positive, and they're going up against the Lions. Well, the Lions are first in the league in giving up points, 15 points per game. Um, their yards per point aren't that great. They're, it's tremendous in the past. We always thought of the Lions as a high-scoring team, putting up a lot of points. They've gone under every game but the first game of the year against the Giants, where they blew the Giants out 35-14. Since then, they've gone under every game. So far this year, a different team under Caldwell. They got rid of Jim Schwartz, who I really never thought that highly of as a head coach. Caldwell obviously is proving himself. He's he got he's instilled some discipline in this team, playing much better. In their last game, they were down twenty-one nothing in at London. They were one to to London against Atlanta, who's a pretty pathetic team this year. Came back and won the game twenty-two twenty-one outscoring them 22 to nothing in the second half. The game before that, they barely won that game also, 24-23 at home against the Saints, where the Saints had, they had that game won and they just blew it at the end. Terrible uh, situation at the end of that game where the Saints gave the game away. They've been playing very well as the stats will bear out. 
but Miami's a red hot football team. Yes, this is an indoor game. It's on the road. That may not be to Miami's liking, but the weather will not affect Miami, who it's a hot weather team. But there are the stats. It's a very interesting game. Make sure you stay tuned. Keep in touch with jimwins.info. And if you like free plays each and every day sent to your cell phone, just text WINNER, W-I-N-N-E-R, to 313131. See you next time.